Monty. Oh, ah. <laughs> okay. Monty, you kept me hanging for so long. I didn't even know I had to tell your whole story by myself. It's not really easy to find a killer. <laughs> no, man. I, do you, you think I just found that out for sure? <laughs> Listen, we got you. Respect all day, every day. Thank bless you. Up, bless up, bless up. I know you got me. I know, man. And I really yeah, the vibes team from ever since. Exactly. Big up vibes. Big up boom shots. Everybody. Boom shot. From vibes to boom shot, we're still popping shots. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we back. Yeah, I'm hearing you know something. We 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 chipped out a while ago, but we back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We back. We back. Don't worry, man. We're this whole thing with be Beanie. Beanie set us up. You know, we had to do the move. Turn it, off, turn it off. We're good for you. Just, I think we're going to hold on to the internet for this. Our oh, audio is kind of bad. It's going in and going out. Okay. But you hear me now? I wonder if it's digital messing us up. Yeah, man. You got to send a message. Yeah, I'm hearing you now. Okay, good. So, look, before we start, I heard this morning the you know very sad news about Bobby Digital. You know, R.I.P. to a legend. Yeah, yeah, that's very sad, you know. Yeah, my condolences to Bobby family because Bobby is one of them great ones who have built the dance hall foundation. Right. And, you know, you've done a lot of... You came sad up news. on jammies and he, you know, he... You know, so you've done a lot of work with Bobby in the past. Yeah, not a lot, but I've done some work with Bobby. That... I did a quite few few watch. I did like five tracks. Do you remember some of your favorite ones you had? Seek God. Yeah, my favorite song that I recorded with Bobby was Before Them Seek God. Them Seek the Devil. That's one of the big hit. And Dead Your Mama Ball, Bad Name You Call. And. Don't keep on, no way. Yeah, he did some great shots with me. Yeah, man, a, a real loss in the in the foundation right now, you know. But you know, we're, we're, just before we talk about foundation, I also want to ask: How is everybody keeping up your end with the coronavirus? Everything good? People are keeping safe? Well, we're trying our best to do that, but yeah, we still got to come out and we still got to work and we still got to do stuff but yeah we're taking all the precautions and we just praying that this thing pass, pass. because mankind do obviously this is god because i'm wondering if it's a pandemic or a pandemic because i works with the Bounty Foundation and you're putting, you know, as usual you're doing what you can with your, you know, as an artist and you always do, you know, take this on. So the Bounty Foundation is actively helping in the coronavirus oh, right now. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we have the foundation and it, it's been a while since I've been doing the charity work, but I never really have a foundation. I was just always one who contribute and donate to society and help who can be helped at the time. But recently we found the foundation and we get in a quite a, some support from society. Few people started to donate and contribute to the foundation. So we're doing some work, not all the things that I expected to do or have in mind I would want to do, but we're doing some things. We're taking our time. Yeah, man. Well, Man, you know, a bounty killer, and you know, there's not many people I can talk to when I interview artists that don't ever don't hesitate to call your name in a second. Like I can never talk to Busy Signal without him hailing you up and respect for you, you know. And you brought so many people <laughs> in the game. You know, Busy just every time I speak to him, you know, not just Busy, Elephant Man. Yeah, 
Now, Busy is one who really always paying extra homage from ever since. He's just a type of person like that. Yo, everybody talks about Busy and his loyalty and being there for Killer during the good and the bad. And from ever since, it's the same vibes. With Busy, nothing hasn't changed. Most people that are help when they become who they become, they slightly have different personality and different vibes and temperament. But with Busy, it remains the same with us. And give thanks to that. Some remains. Like, in a foundation, you are the foundation. When I saw this versus Amy are going to be representing dancehall because it's hard neighborhoods in Jamaica. You've grown up, you've seen everything. You The sound is kind of bad, though. Some of the words I'm not hearing clearly. This tomorrow. The sound kept going in and out. I'm not hearing all the questions. OK. What about now? Good? The reception is back. Yeah, I'm hearing in, man. It's a little better, but it's still going in and out. <laughs> this audio is messing us up, man. Yeah. Because I heard, I already asked something about the verses tomorrow, but I don't hear clearly what he asked. What does it mean for you to represent dance hall like this? Well, representing dance hall meant everything to me. That's what made me. That's what changed my life. So it meant a lot right. to me. It meant everything. It's always unexpected, you know. You just gonna expect Bounty Killer gonna go out there and represent and do the thing that he does. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna be a gladiator and I'm gonna be a competitor. <laughs> it's all gonna be fun. It's just enjoying ourselves and representing the culture, as you say, and us giving it our all. You back? What were you saying now? Have you been watching the verses up until now? Ah, uh, I watched like two of them. Okay. I wasn't keeping up. Okay. Because I'm not good on that live stuff. I'm I'm never on live. I'm not a live guy. Okay. But we got you for live to today, and hopefully tomorrow we're going to see you for this battle. Yes, yeah, special occasion. I pop up on the live on special occasions, but I'm not a person always on live. That's what I makes stay alive today. I'm always alive, so I don't have to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes you special, Bounty, because when you turn up for something, it's a real moment, you know? And 
Thanks. I mean, some people are saying this is going to be the biggest versus battle yet. I hope so. I hope so. Well, you know, you said that you're not going to prepare. And Be Beanie said he's not preparing. But you, you I, I don't prepare. I can't prepare for a battle. I have to just go to a battle. <laughs> I'm prepared as a killer, but I'm not prepared to do whatever I don't know. When you go into a battle, it's unexpected until the opponent does something. That's when you know exactly what to do. Right. I'm a gladiator. I'm a killer. So I know what to do. I don't have to prepare. I was made for that. Now, a lot of people don't know, but I remembered when I was putting your essentials list together, you actually start, started in the industry as bounty hunter. Yeah, that's, that's the way I started as the bounty hunter. And then I transformed to the bounty killer. But the thing that's been always consistent with your music, you're always doing things, you know, for people. You're the voice of people. You know, you are the poor people's governor. You're the yeah. five star general. It, <laughs> it, means, it means so much for you to lift up the youth and to have a voice in whatever, whether you're bounty hunter or bounty killer, you know, like your message is still like voice of the people. Yeah, because I'm a member of the voiceless community. I'm one of those ghetto boys who never had a voice or couldn't be heard. So when I got the opportunity on this platform, I make sure the people's plight be heard. So that's why I become the poor people's governor, because I'm from the poor society. I'm one of those poor boys. And you created the alliance group from that as the thing to bring ghetto youth. Yeah, that was my first effort of giving back by bringing the Scare Them crew. That was my crew, my friends who was there with me at the studio when I was working on my craft. So I felt like I owe it to my friends to get them on when I get on. And after I get on now and bring my friends, other people start to approach me for the similar opportunity. And I found it interesting to help others. As I get to you, each one teach one to reach one. When you open the door, you leave it and don't close it. So that's how I came up and I continue to do it. And then society shows me a lot of appreciation for that. And no. it's a good thing to know that you can do something out of the sincerity. And you get a lot of respect and a lot of support and appreciation. I mean, the crazy thing is, you know, you, your first breakout song was Copper Shop, but then like we've gone on to hear you doing international collabs with people like Busta, with you know you're on No Doubts record. Hey, hey, baby, you know that's all pop culture. Like yeah, it's it's like and even Swiss Beat too. Remember, I did Guilty exactly. with Swiss Beat. Yeah, the Fugees, the Busta Rhyme, the Mob Deep. Yeah, all you those. know. Because um, ever since, I have a good following in New York City. So New York City is what really draws me into that underground hip-hop collaboration stuff. Because mm -hmm. my first hit song, Copper Shot, was released in New York before right. Jamaica. And that's where it took off first. Dub for dub did bigger Jamaica. But Copper Shot first break out in New York City, in Brooklyn. So they that's why I have this strong fan that. base in Brooklyn as well. Right. So when that started to build a wave in New York, Johnny Wonder decided to start put my songs on the hip hop beats by just remixing them. The Shook One Part Two remix, the, the cellular phone, the Craig Mac, not another word, new flavor in the year remix, and he he had me doing a song with Special Ed, that legend, very rapper from Brooklyn. Right. So that's how I get on the hip hop tip. It's really Johnny Wonder that puts me on. Man, so tomorrow everyone's looking forward to tomorrow. Now it's twenty song, tune for tune. So I like a bit of song that they have to make a play more time. Twenty song. <laughs> be yeah, here ten song and me a play ten and me a play twenty and be here play twenty. Lord God. Now I was gonna say, how can you pick twenty? Your catalogue is so deep. I, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just make choices when I go, but that's hard to sit here and decide from now. Now this That's why Beanie says he's unprepared, because it's hard to prepare 20 songs when you have 200. Right. 
exactly but you say you know you are equipped well for this battle and i've seen you battle over and over again so, so that's it i'm not prepared but i'm equipped put it right. like that <clears throat> exactly now you know when you go in tomorrow do you have any strategy what is what is the secret of war in in the art form well war is just a spontaneous thing the secret of war is spontaneous thing he get the spontaneous part of it is just doing something that was a plan. That's the best part of war. Okay. Because what you plan don't must happen. Okay. So I have all type of war strategy. I don't know what tragedy being he's gonna use, but any strategy is being used, I'll have to counteract it instantaneously. <laughs> so that's how it goes. As I said, I'm equipped. So whatever they throw my way, I should know to deal with it. Now, over the years, your battles with your com competition with Beanie has become legendary, right? Like they have, and yeah. I, see, you know, and in some at some times they seem getting very serious, but you both seem to keep it within music always. Well, it it it, it gets intense, but it never really gets serious as like you know, right? These stupid people who do clash today, because at the end of the day. It's really music why we clashing. So right. we cannot afford to clash and destroy the music. Because the purpose of clashing is the music. If me and Beanie not singing no music, we don't want no clash. Right. It's really music we clashing. And right. sometimes the music will lead to other behavior, but them behavior, they're not important. It's a musical behavior that's important. Right. Because so we market in something. And we cannot afford to make marketing strategy destroy the product. Okay. So, if we should act out of behavior, our character, we know how to correct it in time before it destroy the product. So, sometimes it gets intense and we realize that and we have to fix it quick. Because we know that at the end of the day, is really musical battle we want. We want to show off our musical prowess. Me and being in a one show, who can knock this more, rare, rare. So if knocking fist should come in the picture, we're going to take it out. Because right. that's not our display. And respect for you and many people here on there, you know, respect for you. To so all we all human all beings, are sometimes our anger and our ego get in the way and we might act out of character a bit, but we should have our head and our body and know that this is a game of music and it's business as well and it's our livelihood. So we're not supposed to make ego get in the way of our livelihood and our careers. Right. And, and, you know, that's what Clash really is from, the, from day one. It's a musical battle. Who's got the best lyrics? Who's got the best dubs? Who's got the best sound? Yeah, me and Beanie had a musical problem. We want to show whose music is better and who can battle more. Some people have a personal problem and a musical problem, and they got other problems. So four, three, five different problems. Always over spilling yeah. different things. Me and Beanie had one problem. We want to prove who is best. Right. That's why which this is, clash became which, 25 years later legendary. Right. Which is actually like the whole reason why Sound Clash exists in the first place because it's competition about your art form. Who exactly. Got... It's the art form. Now, you know, this battle thing's really, it comes from Clash sound system culture, you know? Like, yeah. it, we can argue that maybe hip hop wouldn't be alive if, you know, Cool Hurt didn't string up his, he was a Jamaican youth, strung up his sound yeah. system in the Bronx. But we all know that. How, you know, so what were some of your favorite sound systems growing up? Oh, well, my favorite sound system when I was growing up, I, I started to attend parties, dance, them call it them time. It wasn't parties, it was dance. It was in the mid eighties that I get the chance to can really go to dances. At the time it was the big sound in Jamaica was like stereograph. It was Metro Media, Stone Love. You have Gemini, Jammy Superpower, Studio Mix, Heat Wave, all of those sound systems. Youthman Promotion, Silver Arc. So those are the systems that I grew up with. Right. And how did you link with Beanie? 
Well, I used to see Beanie at the studio. I met Beanie at the studio. When I go to Jammy's studio, I met Beanie. Beanie was a popular teenage star. He wasn't a, a, a big popular artist, but he was known all over the island as Beanie right. Man, the little boy sensation DJ. So we as little boy always say Beanie as an inspiration too. We as little boy want to be little boy stars. Right. So... We go to the studio and we saw Beanie and we said, oh, that's Beanie Ray Ray and Beanie's from Waterhouse where the studio is also. So we met Beanie and we and Beanie become friends, associates. And then we start to record and Beanie started to use my style because that's not the style Beanie used to use. But Beanie is a man who can DJ like everybody from back in the days. Mm -hmm. But Beanie did a song called Mama, your son, you might go die 21 cup of shot And that was a replica of I got your spine out with a cup of shot In a damn hand And the fuck he did it on the same answer rhythm It just sounds like A makeover to me Yeah So that's yeah. the song that really triggered me To want to prove to Beanie that This style is my style, man So that's how me and Beanie really came in contact And the competition started So is that what you meant when you say, long time Beanie, I want to crush you like a cockroach? Because <laughs> All of that is just spontaneous talk. You know, that's how you do a battle. You got to have a lot of shit to say. Even if it's not like that, you got to just say shit to connect the crowd. <laughs> that was the iconic, you know, one of the iconic clashes you and Beanie had was in the Sting 93 clash, you know, and you know, yeah. you guys, that, that's, you know, but when is that when the when the battle really started between you two? No, it started at Stone Love Anniversary a few weeks before that. Okay. In Portmore, way it was at Stone Love Anniversary where we first square off. Okay. But that was a premature thing because that wasn't a clash, that wasn't a stage show, that was Stone Love Anniversary, and everybody right. was just going to pay their respect and sing a few tunes. Okay. And then I went up and said, I'm going to perform before everybody because I had somewhere else to go. Being he was a teen splash at Coney Park. He wasn't at the party when I came, so he thought that everybody performed before. But nobody never performed. It was me first who went on the stage, want to do my thing quick and go. So when Beanie reached the venue and saw me on the stage, in his head, he felt like if Bounty Killer performing, the show has to be finishing. So he think that, oh, the show are finished, so he might run up to come perform alongside me. No. Because he, tend that he thinks that the show was finishing. So he want to catch a piece. Them time that I have him up for singing, Mama, your son, I got die with sound like a shot. So me I say, me no, he not a boy, yeah. So him come up on the stage now, you know me, I take this opportunity now to show the people and say, listen, that boy, you're a pirate, my style, and I'll kill him, I'll kill him. <laughs> so that's how me and Bean is square off at Stone of Anniversary, and Weepo stop it. Because Weepo never really want a battle at the anniversary. Right. So the fact people saw that the few weeks before Sting, they start to build up a momentum, Bounty and Beanie rivalry. Some people say Beanie win. Some people say Bounty win because it never finished. It stopped prematurely. So everybody have their own expectation what would have happened. So the word in the street, Bounty and Beanie clash a stone of anniversary. Beanie kill Bounty, Bounty kill Beanie. Word in there. So Sting promoters love that, what they heard. So they plan to capitalize on it. So they make sure to set the show where me and Beanie perform back to back. And right as being finished, I should go on because they want me to go on. And it was Sting 93 now when Beanie on the stage performing and he was trying to call up Licker Vicious. And then the crowd said, We're not having it. We don't want a Licker Vicious. And Beanie made the crucial mistake and tell the crowd, Call who you no want. And that's when the crowd starts saying, oh. Bounty, 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 Bounty. And I was saying, he need to come out for the stage now. The people them said they want Bounty. Why he's still on the stage? And the crowd kept saying Bounty and Beanie remains on the stage. And that's my name calling. It's my time. It's my turn. And anyone on the stage is going to get dominate when I come out. 
So when I stepped on the stage, it was still beanie. So I said, people dead, because this guy must want to die. <laughs> you hear the said, Bounty, and you're still out there. You want to face the killer. <laughs> so I just went out and bring the one slot. So that's so how tomorrow. the started. But we never booked a clash. We never planned to clash. We never get paid to clash. The wow. greatest clash of all time that people talking about now was a free clash. Yeah, you did the free I never got a fee. You did so that's why clashes is even different today because people thinking about the fee before they do the competition. Right. And the, 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 fee, the, the, the fee and the payment is more important than the battle to some people today. Right. No, the battle was the most important shit. Fuck the payment. I kill for okay. fun, not the funds. I do it for wow. the fun, not the funds. So tomorrow, we, look, we talked about your competition with Beanie, but, you know, what do you respect about Beanie? I respect Beanie as a very, very great artist and a good person and a person who have a lot of resilience. Beanie been through so many stuff, man. And for Beanie to be standing here today, we have to give him credit because they give him a lot of hard time in his life. I've been through a lot too, but I think Beanie been through twice as I. Yeah, but right. Beanie is a great, consistent artist and every artist from his era looked up to Beanie in some way or being motivated by him or influenced or inspired, however. I have to give you respect because, you know, you're one of the people in the culture that stand up to say, let's give respect now while people are still here. Yeah, respect is to be given. He has to do that. What you want to Caesar, you got to give him what you want to Caesar. Right. And that's all you get your credit to by giving other people their credit. Right. So you don't make credit run short. Make credit keep go crediting. Yeah. I, I mean, that's very big of you, Beanie, because you, Banty, because, you know, it's, like you said earlier, people change towards you and some people, you know, come up and you're friends with people yeah. one day and tomorrow you're not. And then people talk about haters in the game. And just, <laughs> but you always, but you seem to stick to what you believe and you say. And that's what Beanie said he respected about you also. Like, yeah, you got to be real to yourself. You got to have some core. And that's me. I'm, I'm just who I am. And I never try to adjust and I don't want to be anything else. I'm proud of myself and I'm happy with myself. I'm not the best person in the world, but I'm a good one. And I never want to be the best person. The best person is God. I'm a human being. I can be anything human be. I'm a being. I can be. <laughs> well, being next, the next person better than God is not a bad place to be. So respect, <laughs> That's respect. why I'm a grown God. I'm next yeah, to God. <laughs> and I, you know, respect for you every time. Before we let you go, um, do you have any words for Beanie tomorrow? Well, I just want to tell Beanie, come prepared, brother. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> I see him dropping comments. Pull it, pull it. Yo, people. <laughs> you know, it's going to be fun with the musical guns. So I, I see him dropping comments right here in this live with you. So he's hearing you right now. Yeah, he most definitely. Him. You know he's going to be listening. Why not? <laughs> sure. But he knows me. He knows, he knows I'm going to come out. He knows me. I'm a warlord. I can't help it. But I just want to say big up to the Versus TV family. It's a good yeah. thing for both culture. Right. The R&B, the hip-hop, the neo-soul, the reggae, the dancehall, all musical genre. It's a good thing, especially in this quarantine time right. where people have less activity outdoor. We have to be staying inside. So this is a big thing. So we just want to big up to Swiss Beat and Timbaland and the Versus TV crew and Boomshot and Vibes magazine. And I want to say heal up to P. Diddy and the Syrup crew, because that will be my sponsor. Syrup for, for Bounty Sunday. From no. Syrup. <laughs> yes, a big up to the We The Best family. DJ Khalid and Diddy, you know tomorrow, you all with it. So it's all about the big battle tomorrow. Bounty Killer Beanie, man, on the Versus TV. So boom shot, let's go. Pop shot. Pull it, pull it. <laughs> Kaboom! Yo! <laughs> Respect Hello. every time, Bounty. Speak every time, Mama. Bless up yourself. I'm big up Rob Kenner and the whole family at Boomshot.
Everyone big up. Salute. All right. Yo. We're out. Out. Well, you know where you heard it first. If you want to listen back to the Beanie Bounty, lock on here to Vibe Magazine. We're going to have the Instagram back up tomorrow. Six, I can't remember what time it is myself, but 8 p.m. is the versus battle. You know where you heard it all first. So we're going to be on that. For now, ciao.